guide them to the house. So if you got a GPS, number one, don't leave it out in the open. Whether you go in a store or, or late at night, if, if, whether you're at home, take it out. Put it up where it can't be seen. But do not put your address in that GPS. Right. Put the store. Put somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Don't put. Don't put your address because uh, that leaves the assailant to find your house if they steal it. Um, then they used the garage for remote control to open the garage door and gain entry to the house. The thieves knew the owners were at the football game. They knew what time the game was scheduled to finish, and so they knew how much time they had to clean out the house. It would appear that they had brought a truck to empty the house of its contents. Something to consider if you have GPS. Don't put your home address in it. Put a nearby address like a store or gas station so you can find your way home if you need to, but no one else can know where you live if your GPS is stolen. Also, mobile phones. Everybody's got a mobile phone. Um, this lady has now changed her habit of how she lists her names on her mobile phone after her handba handbag was stolen. Her handbag, which contained her cell phone, her credit card, and wallet, was stolen. 20 minutes later, when she called her husband from a pay phone telling him what had happened, her husband says, well, I just received your text about a PIN number, and I replied a little while ago. When they rushed down to the bank, the bank staff told them all the money was already withdrawn. The thief had actually used a stolen cell phone to text the husband and the contact list and got hold of the PIN number. Within 20 minutes, he had written down all the money. He had withdrawn all the money from the bank account. Um, so the moral of the lesson is do not disclose the relationship between you and the people in your contact list. Don't put husband um, and, and the number on your contact list. Um, avoid using names like home, honey, hug, sweetheart, dad, mom, etc. And very importantly, when sensitive information, when sensitive information is being uh, used, if it's being asked to the text, confirm by calling the person back. Also, when you're being texted by friends or family to meet them somewhere, be sure to call back to confirm that the message came from them. If you don't reach them, be very careful about going places to meet family and friends who text you. So. Mm -hmm. About GPS, it says home. I've got that online, and I didn't think about that until I read this. Yeah, yeah that's in case of mercy, that's the reason I'm not going to call about that. You should. Oh, in case somebody needs to get in touch with your well, wife. Well, if you're going to have a heart attack and they pick your phone up, they don't know who to see. You know, who to contact. You're still taking a chance. I think that you should put ice in it, though. You've got ice in it. You can put ice instead of husband or wife. They pay for the They pay for the We find cards. Oh. Carol Williams up there. I walk up in front of the and they find, we find Social Security cards. They carry everything on them where they fit, and they carry all these four columns, and we find all kinds of phones. It's got everything in them, and you can get them and just pick up anything. Anybody can pick them up out there. Some people put the pin number on the back of them. They have to have all their information in, because I can go right in there and just call where they're at and go to the address or anything. Yeah. Well, they get, Stephen's talking about lost your care with you, and it beat us back to Rachel's They called my grandmother. I think, and I don't have to listen to his phone, and they took it to her. I thought about that too, but I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. You know? a, lot, but a lot of you robberies now around Lancaster, it's not one person doing it, it's gangs. Yeah. It's more than one person doing a lot of it. And that's, that's the bad part about it. All right. Any questions? Very good. Can anybody learn anything? You yes. 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 Sure. Really good. Get rid of my cell phone. <laughs> Keep my gun loaded. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for coming. And just remember, like, if you don't practice stuff like this, you won't really know what to do if you find yourself in a situation. And if you do find yourself in attack, I right, fight as if your life depends on the cause it does. All right. Thank you.